Have you ever pondered the nature of pain? Is it merely an unpleasant sensation or a complex mechanism that signals something's amiss in our bodies? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of pain, its various types, and their striking impacts. At its most basic level, physical pain is an alarm system, alerting us to potential harm. It's your body's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Whether it's a stubbed toe, a nasty fall, or a severe burn, physical pain is an immediate response to harmful stimuli. This form of pain is generally sharp and localized, making us aware of the exact area of damage. But physical pain isn't just about immediate injury. It can also be chronic, lasting for months or even years, as seen in conditions like fibromyalgia and arthritis. Now let's shift gears and talk about emotional pain. Unlike physical pain, emotional pain isn't localized to a specific area. It's a pervasive, deep-seated discomfort that can affect every aspect of our lives. We've all experienced it at some point, heartbreak, grief, disappointment. It's the kind of pain that can't be bandaged up or soothed with medication. It's a pain that's felt in the depths of our hearts and souls. Closely related to emotional pain is psychological pain. This is pain that originates in the mind and can be just as debilitating as any physical ailment. Conditions like depression and anxiety disorder can lead to intense psychological pain. It's a pain that's often invisible to others which can make it all the more difficult to bear. So what do these different types of pain have in common? They all have profound impacts on our overall well-being. Physical pain can limit our mobility and disrupt our daily routines. Emotional pain can affect our relationships and our ability to experience joy. Psychological pain can lead to feelings of hopelessness and despair, and in extreme cases can even be life-threatening. But pain isn't just about suffering. It's also a tool for growth. It's a signal that something needs to change. Physical pain can prompt us to take better care of our bodies. Emotional pain can lead to personal growth and increased resilience. Psychological pain can be a catalyst for seeking help and developing coping strategies. In each case, pain serves as both a warning and a guide, pointing us towards the path of healing and growth. To summarize, pain is a complex and multifaceted experience that can take many forms, physical, emotional and psychological. Each type of pain has its own unique characteristics and impacts, but they all serve a common purpose, to alert us to harm and guide us towards healing. So the next time you experience pain, remember it's not just about suffering, it's also about growth. It's your body and mind's way of saying, hey, something needs to change here. And that's a message worth listening to.